Hey there, welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. My name is Raja and in this video we are gonna finally learn about input controls in Unity. Input controls are probably one of the most important and mostly used things in the games. So we are gonna learn how to take inputs. First of all we will learn how to take keyboard inputs. So let's get started. First of all let me go ahead and delete this info repeating thing that we have learned in the last video. Now uh, first of all we'll learn how you can check for inputs so in the update function in order to check for inputs we write if input dot get key now we have three functions here get key get key down and get key up among them we will use get key down get key down means whenever a key is pressed down and get key up means whenever a key is released suppose I press the key spacebar at that time it will return get key down and whenever I release that button that button goes up then it will run get key up and during all this time that means whether the key is pressed or released all this or uh, whether the key is just pressed or the key is in pressed state or it has been released all this time it will return the get key true so for our input we will use input dot get key down that means whenever we press the key at that time we will check the input so if input dot get key down and inside this function let me close the if statement first and inside this input dot get key down function we have to write the key code of the key that we want to check so we want to check if the space bar is pressed so we will write key code dot space okay now if you want to check the key for a you just write key code dot a if you want to check b you just write key code dot b if you want to check any other number or anything you just write that button name after the key code so we want to check for space bar so that is why we write key code dot space so whenever space is pressed so whenever we press the space bar at that time we want to call this inst function and we want to instantiate the ball because that's going to be very very interesting so at that time that is whenever the key space bar is pressed we want to call inst so this is how we call a function so whenever this key gets down this space key gets down or this space key gets pressed we just want to call this inst function so that means whenever we press the space key at that time a ball will be instantiated so let's go and see that in action now if I run this game as you can see nothing gets created now I press the space bar 3 2 1 ball gets created now again if I press the space bar hope you can hear the sound ball gets created and if I press this space bar repeatedly As you can see new ball gets generated you can use it for a lot of things you may use it to shoot bullets or whatever but this is very very important and we have taken our very first step to learn about inputs so I hope you guys enjoyed this video because this is really very very important if you don't understand this make sure to rewatch this and ask me about it because it is very very useful in the next videos we will learn different ways to take keyboard inputs and we will learn how to take input from the mouse so that we press the mouse button at some point and we can check where the mouse has been clicked so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video have a great day